episode, I wasn't really clear on all of the criteria I had for the next bike. And so I thought now would be a good time to clear that up, especially with this great view. So I had mentioned that I wanted a single cylinder fuel injection, and there wasn't a lot of options that I thought uh, would work. I wanted something that was decent off-road and also was really good on-road. Uh, I wanted it lighter, something just barely over 400, 420 pounds if possible, which kind of put it into the category of the DR650, KLR650, and then uh, uh, BMW G or F650 GSs. So I had had a KLR 650 uh, quite a while ago. It just wasn't um, inspiring to me. I ended up not keeping it very long and, and quit riding for a while. Uh, the DR 650, it, it would be okay, but I feel like it's a lot like a KLR 650, which is why I started looking at the uh, G650 GS and the F650 GS. When I bought the KLR, I really wanted the Dakar uh, F650 GS but it was outside of my budget. KLR was in my budget, so that's what I ended up doing. I still really like those bikes, and so I thought, you know, if I'm gonna get a new bike, not new, but get another bike that I wanna take to Baja, I wanted to go back and reevaluate whether or not the Dakar or Soteo, or even the base models, um, the non-off-road versions would work for me. So that's what I decided to do, was go and, and try those out and, and uh, see if that would work. So the remainder of this episode is all about uh, what I found out in going and looking at those. Just an hour away, I found this 2006 F650 GS with 9,000 miles. I thought, perfect, I can ride it and try it out. But no, this was a consignment bike and the dealer wouldn't let me take it out. It looked like the mileage was hard earned and I was happy to pass this one up. Tonight I am driving 400 miles to Sedona or near Sedona to go look at a bike that I think meets my requirements. All right, it's four o'clock my time. I'm getting a late start. I had things I had to do today. I had to go to work. I had to go to the doctor. Got this thing on my head I had to have frozen off. Uh, that was a great start. So today my cell phone started discharging at an incredible rate. It's losing 60 to 80% of its charge in about two hours. Just one little added irritation on this adventure. Got the trailer on back. And uh, off I go. Now I am going to cheat a little on this trip and add in a mountain bike ride. If you've never ridden a mountain bike in Sedona, it is absolutely spectacular. It is one of my most favorite places ever to ride. Motorcycle shop doesn't open until 10 tomorrow anyway, so I'll have time. I'll get up early, ride for, I don't know, two hours, and uh, then shower up and head to the to the bike shop. I would even do this as a one day trip. You've been insane, but whatever. All right, this is uh, initial ride on a G650 GS to see if this is something that I want to do. Actually, the handlebars feel like they're about the right height, but man, it feels feels a bit cramped from what I'm used to. Let's see how well it gets up to speed. But I also ride a ginormous bike. I don't know if it's down the road okay. Brakes actually don't feel so bad. If the forks were stiffened up, I wouldn't dive much. That happens. The bike feels wide at my feet. It's pushing into my calves. It's uh, I'm not used to that feeling. And I feel like I'm really having to hold on. I think it's the handlebar to foot peg distance. I feel like the foot pegs are underneath my hands. I don't know if it'd be any better if it was wider. I couldn't ride like this for hours. All right, there it is. It feels a bit cramped. I feel like the foot pegs need to be moved back. So uh, the handlebar to foot peg position just doesn't feel right. It feels like the foot pegs are too close. I have to sit. When I'm sitting on it, I'm, I'm all the way to the back to have the, the right feel for arm. Man, I don't know. Don't know, I don't know, I don't know. When I said I was taking it for a test ride, they said, go through the roundabouts. 
and get up it get it up to highway speed. I don't think this is what they had in mind. But if this is what I'm gonna do on this bike, this is what I wanna know. And it needs wider pegs. I'm gonna have to put a wider peg on. Because it just right at the calves. It just hits me right in the calves. If I had a wider peg, I could move my feet out. I just really feel like I'm having to hold on. I'm not able just to stand. My hands are having to grip pretty hard to hold on, which just feels weird to have to do that. I can't just stand here comfortably working the controls. I think off-road, it's fine. I'll do some work on the suspension. I actually do like the putt power. The putt, 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 putt on this. I don't need 125 horsepower to ride dirt roads. So I like that. Yeah, I didn't think I would need to move the bars forward. Well, I went back and forth on the bike today. And it just, comfort-wise, with it pushing into my calves, I don't think I can get pegs that are wide enough to move my feet out. It's just, it's a very wide bike, right? It put my calf level. And the distance between handlebars and the pegs, I think that's going to be difficult to adjust with handlebars as well. And uh, it's just not comfortable. So the G50, the G650 GS in its stock state, I don't think I can change it into what I want. I really wanted a fuel injected single cylinder. So um, I guess I'm going back to the drawing board to kind of sort out what I want. Very disappointed right now. The best way I knew to deal with the disappointment was to make an unexpected trip to the Grand Canyon. So I did just that. All right, I'm sitting on a 2015 G650 GS. And I'm just so used to a big bike. I don't know, this just feels bizarre to me. Seems like an okay bike. I'm just not used to riding something so small. Man, it's small. I guess that's what I'm after. Since this isn't my bike, I'm not going to do that. It's definitely easy to handle. Oh! Just not used to riding such a small bike. After a small bike for to get me through Baja. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Got to change the wheels. If it was super technical, bashing the hell out of the bottom. After trying out these bikes, it became clear these were not going to work for me. It was time to look elsewhere.